Can you feel it, boys? Can you feel it? Classic is coming. It's right around the corner, baby. It's Friday. I'm feeling good. It's the weekend. I just got done with class. I come home. I fire up the laptop. And lo and behold, what do I see? Blue post. It's the fourth update in less than a month. And it's a big one, guys. We The classic release date's got to be coming any day now. I'm talking weeks, days. It, it, it's right around the corner. The wheels are turning over at Blizzard, dude, and I just want to point out, I'm sure you've already seen the news, I'm not going to read the entire post for you, but I want to point out how personal it's starting to feel again over at Blizzard, and I know they've gotten a bad rap in the past because of, you know, the community, or the company that they've turned into from 2004, I mean, it was so personal, we had Dungeons and Dragons guys creating World of Warcraft all the way down to... You've already heard the spiel. Feels like, you know, the marketing team uh, overtook Blizzard, but... Guys, I don't know what's going on in the rest of Activision Blizzard, but the Classic Wild team is absolutely killing it. Oh, guys. Guys, it's going to be a good summer. Now, again, I just want to point out how personal this post feels and why this is such a good thing for Classic Wow. So, let's read the second paragraph. Well, actually, the first, the last sentence of the first paragraph and then the second paragraph. We wanted to keep loot trading in WoW Classic because the end result is the same. The correct person gets the item and it'll save everyone time. Now, whenever Blizzard's recreating Classic, they're trying to be reasonable, right? They they don't want to just recreate the game as it was with bugs and, and flawed systems. Now, I think it's debatable on whether loot trading not being in the game was a flawed system or not because as everybody that's played on private servers or played in the past, you realize you don't really need loot trading, uh, especially in the environment of vanilla WoW. You know, there's this reputation that you hold on each server and if you ninja stuff, you're not going to get invited to group. So whenever this discussion was up in the air, you know, before we got this news, I didn't really mind if they had if they just completely left it up to the player base, didn't even have loot trading in the game. But guys, what we got is second best. They just put loot trading in raids, which is awesome. Um, especially for people that are going to be raiding in guilds and you're not pugging. This isn't going to affect you. Now, as for the pug groups, it's it might even be beneficial for you, right? So it's a win-win either way. I know it's not the exact same thing, but guys, it's it's we're getting classic wow either way. Now check this out. The second paragraph. But we heard your concerns about the potential for abuse of the loot trading systems in parties of five. It's possible that abusive play could take the form of a group of four players colluding to deny loot to a stranger who joined the party as a pickup. Raid groups being much larger come with more understanding on the part of solo players that loot distribution can depend on the whims of the many players and raid leaders who know each other. They're listening, boys. They're listening. We're getting classic. This is such good news. This is such good news. Guys, you should be feeling good. We're we're going to get to re-experience the glory days. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same, but arguably it's going to be a better experience. Guys, thanks for watching. Get hyped. Happy weekend. Happy holidays. It's your boy, Grace, for days. If you haven't been satisfied with all the Classic WoW updates and Classic WoW videos coming out, guys, check out my Classic WoW hype series. It's pretty cool. We examined some cool one-off NPCs and items in the game. I'm loving this series right now. That's all I got to say. It's your boy Grace for days.